Hello, bonjour, guten tag, buenos dias, dobry den, welcome to me paintings, thank you for stopping by at my channel. I'm Veronica Me, and today I would like to show you how to create beautiful, colorful acrylic pour with 3D effect. I will be using these colors from Lucas Creole Studio, which I buy in a local art shop. If you search online, there is loads of options for acrylics. I will be using lavender, permanent violet, magenta red, Indian yellow, cadmium yellow, this one I mixed by myself from permanent green and lemon yellow. This one is permanent green. This is dark turquoise. And I'm going to show you how I mix my colors with pouring medium. So you can do that too. But if you already know that, you can skip to the creative part. So here's my turquoise. And I usually use these yogurt cups, which I can reuse many times. And I'm going to put a blob of this turquoise color on the bottom of my cup. like this so this is like i don't know how much four milligrams i don't know just i covered the bottom of my cup with this color and now i'm gonna use this homemade pouring medium which i mixed from pva glue i use 60 percent of glue and 40 percent of distilled water mix it together and that creates my pouring medium and i'm gonna Mix it in ratio one part of acrylics and one part of pouring medium. So let's do that. Mix it up very well. Let's see. This is the right consistency. And I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to add two drops of silicone oil in each color. It helps me to get more cells. Two or three drops mix it up like five seven times like that perfect and that's all prepared for my pour i'm using cotton canvas which is size 40 by 40 centimeters this is how it looks on the other side i put these pins here so it doesn't get stuck to my table and i can start pouring my paint and i'll be pouring in the lines like this And I'm going to keep a little bit of lavender because it will be my swiping color. It's a beautiful shade. Then permanent violet. Magenta. So I'm going to pour this lavender on this edge. It will be my swiping color, lavender. And I've got this piece of plastic. You could also use cling film, kitchen towel, whatever you find at home. And I'm going to swipe it all the way down. started to appear let's just move this down a little bit and these colors will mix nicely together I've got this little torch which I bought in a local shop it was three euros nothing too expensive and it helps me to pop these beautiful colorful cells That's perfect. That's what I hoped for. Some amazing colorful explosions. I'm going to show you some details. Look at these amazing colorful combinations. So I'm going to let this dry for about a week. And then I'm going to show you what to do next with this special pour. 
After a week my poor is dry and look at these amazing cells. They turned out absolutely amazing. I love the color combination. Now I would like to turn these cells into 3D structures and for that I'm gonna use some acrylic marker. But firstly I want to draw a big circle in the middle of my painting and for that I'm gonna use this old tray which will work great as a round tool. So maybe here in the middle and I've got my pencil and I will just draw a circle. Like this, it's not very visible, but I can see that and it will help me to see where to create my lines. And here's my artist row acrylic marker and I will try to draw these fluid shapes which will go around my circle and create this interesting 3D structure. So this is how it looks and now it's time to create shadows around all these shapes and for that I'm going to use this black color and also this type of brush. It's an old brush but it's good for blending so I'm going to put my brush in water, put a little bit of black on the tip of my brush and then create shades around here and also here on the other side. I also want to work on details on the sides and for that I'm going to use this old stencil. I put this bronze color, bronze silver here and I will create these like lines here and there. So and I've got this kind of tool and I'm going to create some details here and there. Just little marks of darker color here and there. I have to be careful around these edges. I don't want to put it over my pore, just on the sides. It's not very visible, but just for the feel of interesting sides. So yeah, I'm going to do it all around. Last step is painting reflections on the top of my interesting shapes and for that I'm going to use this little brush from Arteza size 1 and titanium white. You could also use marker but this time I'm going to use very thin brush and white acrylic color and paint these little white lines. So let's do that on the rest of them and show you the finished result.
And this is the result of my 3D acrylic pour. As you can see, you can create so many interesting pieces with fluid art. I love these little details which were created with stencil and all these amazing shapes and colors. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was inspirational for you. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. You can also join my Facebook group, which is called Create With Me and show us your beautiful art. I also have got Instagram page Me Paintings, where you can see all of my artwork. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for your support and for watching my videos and for all your beautiful comments. I really appreciate it. I wish you lots of success with your art projects and I can't wait to see you again. Bye!